This is going to be an HTML tutorial on how to link a button to an internal docs file. A docs file is a word file. You click on the button and it will ask you where you want to download the uh, word file to. Let me show you what I mean. This right here, click here and then a button and if I tap on this button, if I click on it, it'll ask me where I want to download this uh, word file. I'll push save, I'll download it to my desktop, then I'll open it, and it opens the file in Word. Let me jump over to my desktop here. On my desktop, I've created a folder and named it Test. I'll open that folder, and inside this folder I have a basic HTML file and I created a folder. I'll double click on that folder and there is my Word file inside of that folder. I named my folder Documents. You should have a folder for your documents, a folder for your images, a folder for your CSS files, and so on. Let me jump over to VS Code here. Okay, I'm inside of VS Code now. And as you can see, I have just a very basic HTML boilerplate made out here. I'm going to place my cursor between the opening and closing body tags here. And I'm going to create an H1 tag. And between the opening and closing H1 tags, I'm going to create some text. Click here, colon. Then I'm going to make a space and I'm going to create a button tag. VS Code automatically closes that button tag for me. Now, within the opening button tag, I'm going to place my cursor just after the in, and I'm going to make a space, and I'm going to type on click equals, then double quotations, and in between those double quotations there, I'm going to type location dot href equals and then a pair of single quotations. And between those single quotations, I'm going to put my cursor in there. I'm going to type the name of the folder. Uh, this is basically going to tell the browser where to look for the word file. I'm going to type the name of the folder. Name of my folder is documents. Then I'm going to put a forward slash and then the name of the file. The name of my file is called example and then I'm going to uh, put down the file extension dot docx. Name of the folder name of the file, and the name of the extension. In between the last single quotation and the last double quotation, I'm going to put my cursor in there, and I'm going to create a semicolon. There we go. And now, between the up opening and closing button tags here, I'm going to put my cursor in there, and I'm going to type out what I want the button to say. I'm just going to type word file. That's what's going to be on the button. Now I'm going to go up to file and I'm down to save. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to open my folder that I just created this HTML file in and I'm going to double click on it. And right there, click here, colon, and then my button, it says word file. If I click on that button, it will open up the uh, dialog box asking me where I want to download my Word file. I'm going to click on it. Here's the dialog box. I'm going to push, I'm going to click on save. And then down here I'm going to click on this to open it. And there's my Word file. That is how you link a Word document to a button in HTML. Thanks for watching.